Problem 14.75 involves a mass attached to a string of length L um, swinging around a bar in a horizontal circular path. Um, so if we go ahead and draw a free body diagram for that, you always have mg downwards, and then we have the tension due to the string that way. Uh, if we wanted to just to expand that a little bit, uh, you have components t cosine of 30 and that way is t sine of 30 all right note that the in the book they incorrectly labeled the angle is alpha, and then for the rest of the problem they called it theta, so just bear that in mind. Um, we're just going to deal with 30 anyway, so uh, if we go ahead and write the equations for this, you have the these ones up and down uh, is t cosine 30 minus mg equals 0 because it's a ho horizontal circular motion so it's not accelerating upwards or downwards. And then the force inwards, uh, this way, is T sine of 30. And that's it. But that's not 0. That's equal to MA centrip, which we know is V squared over R. We're giving us a final equation. of T sine of 30 equals MV squared over R. Um, now we need to solve this here. So that looks like a theta. Okay, zero equals zero. Um, you can solve for T right away. If you wanted to, just do it numerically first, just to kind of take that step out of it. Um, you have M, which is one slug. G, which remember is 32.2 feet per second squared over cosine 30. So if I plug this into calculator, get 37.2. Uh, whatever the unit is, to be honest. S slugs. Uh, Newtons. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Wow, thirty-seven point two pounds. Um, and then for the other equation. We just have T sine of 30 equals MV squared over R. Now R, if we remember from the free body diet, or actually from the picture itself, if you have the mass here, this is R. This is L, so R is equal to L sine of 30. So let's just do that out. Oh my. Um, so T sine of 30 equals mv squared over L sine 30. Now you can just solve for V, and you get V squared equals T sine squared of 30 
times L over M, which is just 1, remember. And if you do that out, you'll get the solution, which is about 6.10 feet per second. Uh, second. There you are.